Valletta is the capital of Malta in a lovely old city. And because it's so beautiful, it can be super crowded. Let's spend the day together, do some local things and avoid the crowds. Hi, my name is Kia and my boyfriend Ben and I live part-time in Malta. Valletta is one of my favorite places here on the island and today I want to show you what I love to do in Valletta and I bet in the end you will love this place as much as I do. We are on the ferry right now because our apartment is in Slima and then the easiest way to come from Slima to Valletta is actually to take the ferry. It only takes like I think five minutes and it costs Oh, two euro something. It's really cheap and it's a beautiful view and I totally recommend it doing it anyways, even if you just go forth and back because it's actually a really nice ride. Go, go, go. <laughs> Malta is surrounded by an old city wall and you can actually walk partly around it. It's definitely not well known and there are very few tourists, only the locals come here to swim, lay by the sea and have a drink. I will link the entry point of the walk in the description and while you check it, please make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more travel videos. <laughs> At the end of the walk, we are actually getting to my favorite swimming place. It's around 5 p.m. now and we arrived at the beach. We honestly hardly ever go earlier to the beach than 5 p.m. Because in summer it's just so, so hot here and you just burn in the sun. So it's actually just much nicer to go later because it really stays warm and you can just go swimming until like, I don't know, late at night. So it's much nicer to go later in the day. In Malta it's very common to just lay on the stones and jump in the ocean from there as Malta only has very few sandy beaches. Hunger. <laughs> 